this closed guard before I actually try anything. Heater now really locked onto that arm. Seems like Hiro Zuchi's really, he's, at, he's open to the idea of opening his guard. What do you like, close guard? Probably, but I'm interested to see what he's going to do with these double sleep grips. Yeah, Lima now crowding the space a little bit. Not really, like you said, not really committing to a pass. Mostly feeling, I think, the strength of Heater, assessing his options. Keeping him a very low base. A little over three minutes down here. You know, I see a lot of athletes opting for this. This big tripod stance with both your hands underneath the armpits and legs wide. I imagine that is just mitigating the person on bottom's ability to do things like what Hiderazuchi is doing right now, but not really aiming to actually open the guard. There's no actual guard open attempt. Right, it's, it's a relatively conservative movement, and as you mentioned, prevents things like climbing the guard. It's really hard to turn your hips for any kind of arm bars or triangle setups or anything. But relatively passive and neutral, just that you're on your feet. So you do avoid getting penalized. Peter takes a quick glance at the clock. Again, opens his guard. Doing his part to invite Lima into a more open game. Oh, now you see a little bit more action. Heater inverting underneath, looking possibly for arm bar, flower sleep combination. Halfway through this match, I have to say, I haven't seen a ton out of Lima so far. And neither athlete has really taken significant strides towards improving their position or getting out of said position. And it makes sense to remain conservative. It makes sense to burn time. But to burn time in this way where nothing has really happened, minus a light attempt at a flower sweep from Peter Zucci, Lima now committing with a bit more intention here. Oh, good roll underneath though from Hirozuchi. Starting to cut the angle, forcing Zuchi to turtle, gets back to his feet. Lima maintains the grips. Heavy hips by Lima. Now we're right back in the closed guard. The most significant movements of the fight displayed by Lima. Yeah, really forcing a heater to react there. Get back to closed guard. a lot of athletes adopt this really low squat 
across all weight divisions. Just really squatting down, bringing their elbows in. It's a very interesting way to lower your center of gravity and make it harder for your opponent on bottom to get anything going. But it's an interesting approach that I, I haven't noticed very much before. Yeah, maybe the counterpart, right, to the uh, upright stance with the hands in the armpits. Very similar, safe space. Okay, now we see the heater open up, back to the feet, and we'll see it reset back in the center of the mat here. You have to wonder what's going through the heater's mind now. Because generally speaking, his attacks have been shut down. And Lima has seen some tangible success when he gets moving, which hasn't been very often. But he chooses very selectively when he does. His commitment has been uh, very scary for Eater. Yeah, absolutely. And we see the heavy hips. His, his ability to bring his hips down to the ground very quickly, very suddenly, has made it very hard for Eater to get anything going. Two minutes left as Heater pulls guard once again. Big pull. Still all zeros across the board. No points scored yet in this match. Whoops. <laughs> I just breathed very heavily into the mic. With a minute and 20 left, we're back to the same sort of mitigation technique, I guess I would say, by Lima. But now look, that's making Hinozuchi a little more active, like what we had said before. Oh, big triangle attempt over the top. Again, both athletes pretty cagey, but when they commit, extremely explosive. Minute left here, it's all going to come down to one key exchange. Otherwise, we have a very tough case for our referees. And either way, it swings. It's no surprises. It's that close. I would say, for my bet, so far Lima has had the more significant movement attempt. But then again, Zucci has had a couple significant tries of his own off of his back. So. It's going to be difficult to make a judgment call. The argument could be made, too, that Zushi has controlled the pacing of this match throughout, except those few explosive moments. But I think we're going to see this match right out and close guard for the last 10 seconds here. That'll do it. It's going to go to our referees. Let's find out how they see it. Both athletes seemingly sure that they have got the judges' nod, but it's all going to come down to what they say and what their deliberation is. Was it the passing attempt of Lucas Lima or was it the guard play of Peter Zucci? So far, Chase, I don't think I've missed on these uh, referee decision predictions. There you have it. Juan Lima will make his way to the semifinal.